Okay, for the pages. First of all, I use black cardstock all the time, mostly. <laughs> and this is just standard, an A4 black cardstock. And I use Clairefontaine 160 grams. Because I got a lot, I keep getting a lot of questions which one I use. Well, that's the one I use. And uh, I'm not familiar if it's, if you can get it worldwide. I really don't know, but in Europe you really can. can. Uh, so Clairefontaine 160 grams, black cardstock. And the size of it is 21 by 29 and a half centimeters. Now, I'm just going to use always these standards. So if I'm going to use a, uh, doing a page, I, I really accept that for you guys who always use uh, 12 by 12 sheets, that you first need to pre-cut a piece before you can do any uh, of my quick <laughs> tutorials. So that is the reason why I give you now the measurements. That's 8 one fourth by 11 5 of an 8 inch. So yeah, that is my size of my regular using my pages. Alright, that's been said. Um, so now we're going to the pages. And there are two different uh, pages. This is the one with the seam binding closure. And on the back we can make a pocket of it and then um, other things. And we have a base page with the simple pocket. And on the back even this same thing. So they are quite familiar but just a little different. Now in my album I made four of these with the big pocket and two of these. Um, we are going to make six pages but if you like three of these and three of these it's your decision but I like four of these and two of these. So what we are going to do is let's go first to base page one that's with a big pocket that is going to see oh my gosh I hope uh, you can that's that's basically this is how it looks like so my A4 is exactly the same as this one so I'm going to score just in a minute one five of an eight then I'm going to turn it score at three and a half then I'm going to turn it and I'm score at a half that's my base page one. Then after I score it, and I will mention it uh, again, then I'm going to cut this piece off and then cut a flip. And then on this piece only these two. So I have the flip for the pocket that we need to create a nice white pocket. Then it sees like this. You see, this we cut out, and here just a little piece, so we have a nice pocket. Yeah, let's do that. Let's first do page one. So, first I'm going to do one together with you, and then I will give you the measurement. So I'm going to first going to apply my scoring board with my bone folder. So I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready too? I really am off when, but I hope. Yeah, this is better. Gosh, my camera is wide this way. All right. Okay. Um, need to fix that. This is a little off. Oh, it keeps coming back to me. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, so first we are going to make this and this is one five eight one five eight one five eight and I have I have it right here for those who really want to measure it um, write it down so you score first one five eight then we're going to turn it 
then score it two and a half, turn it and a half. Let's do it again together. So the first one was one five eight. Turn it and score at three and a half. Turn it and score at a half. Yay! That was easy. Now I'm going to make. Oh, let's first do this. Then, so these are the measurements again for the base page one, one five eight on the long side. Then turn. Then three and a half on the short side. Then again turn. <laughs> and then a half inch on the long side. All right. Then we have this. Okay. Then we're going to cut this piece. Let's do that together. And I'm always going to cut off the scoring line. So I'm going to cut on the right side of the score. So the score line I cut off. You see? Then I'm going to um, just eyeball it. And cutting a hinge, cutting it off, but I want this in an angle. There we go. Yeah, then we have cut this off. Okay, easy peasy. Then this also in an angle and cut the scoring piece off. That's it. That's the base page. Really simple. And when you have done that, you can fold it in any way you like. So say we want the pocket at the front or at the back. Either way. I'm first going to make my hinge. I want five hinges pointing to the right side. And one page I want going to the left. Well, I will explain that later. So now I decide, yeah, you can decide it later what you want, but let's say we want this at the top. So fold this at the top and I'll fold these two in for the pocket. There you go, and then this last piece we fold at the back. There you go. Easy peasy. Now let's do it one more time together. Together. So we are going to score at one five eight. Two and a half. And a half. Okay, let's cut this piece. And we need a hinge and a triangle. We need a triangle and this we don't need. Okay, now let's say I want this one on the left side. So assume that this will be my last page, the last page in the album. Then I want perhaps the pocket on the back. So I'm going to fold this on the inside. And this this way. So now we have this page with the pocket on the back and then this large flap to the front. So yeah, we already have our last page. So we have the front page and the last page. Cool. Now, um, what I like to do is um, make two base page one 
and one base page, two in the middle. So if that makes sense. But I need one more of these. So let's make one more together for those who like. And I just like doing it together with you. So I'm going to make one more. So I have four base pages. So one, five, eight, three and a half, and a half. I'm grabbing my scissors, cutting a hinge, and a little angle. And a little angle and this piece. Okay, now this is going to be on the right because the left page we already did. And um, let's see, we had one at the front, so why not doing one at the back? So this is the front, so I'm now I'm going to fold this to the back but you can do on anything you like now keep in mind that this is going to need hmm. no I don't want it this is not getting fitting nice so I won't I'm just keeping this at the front that's better. Yeah, that's better. Okay. This at the back. Okay, let's make them all four exactly the same. Yeah. Um, so we have four. Yeah, and now we need one more of the other one. Let's go to B base page two. So one last time for base page one. One five of an eight, three and a half and a half. Yeah, you can't miss it. Okay, let's go to base page two. That will see like this. So you can see it. And uh, if I, I will grab a sample with it, you can see it. So this is the hinge, and this is the, the pocket, and these are the two flaps we are binding together with the seam binding. Ta-da! Really easy. So, first of all, for those who want to write it down, these are the measurements. So I'm going to score at 158 on the long side, then turn it. Then score on the short side, 1 3 4th, then turn it, then score at a half inch on the long side, then turn it, and score at 1 3 4 again on the short side. Okay, let's do it together. I'm grabbing a piece. So we are going to score at one five eight. One five eight. Turn it and score at one three four. Turn it, score at a half. Turn it and score again at one three four. That's it. That's it guys, and now we just need to cut all the four corners. Alright, so let's do that. And I'm going to cut off the score lines. So I'm going to cut on the inside of our paper. So if I'm cutting it off, I hope I'm going to let you see. You see my score lines are still on this paper. So I'm going to cut on the inside and cut off my score.
score lines. Again, cut off the score lines. And one more time. Here we go. Yeah, and now we can fold it. It's our hinge. And our closure. And our pockets. Alright, so that is the base base page two really easy once more give you the measurements so write it down one five eight on the long side give it a turn then one three four on the short side and turn then a half inch on the long side give it a turn and again one three four on the short side and cut out all the four squares. All right, easy peasy. <laughs> That's it. Now I have two of these and four number ones. Oh cool. How cool is that? And one with the left, the left one. Okay, so I'm thinking Again, base page one, base page two, base page one, and then again a base page one, and a base page two, and a base page one, and then this flips around. The last one goes to the left with the hinge, we told you. Okay. That is that, but there is more activity, of course. So, okay, I will give you. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, let's see what we did on the first page. On, oh, I see the first page is a different one with the other way around. Okay, then. We just need to fold this the other way around. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Wait just a second. I don't know what I did, but. Should be the same. Oh, well, that's no big deal, but how did I fold it then? This is the oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Just this way and this way, and then yeah, I did this. make the same. We want the same thing. Yeah, okay. So turn it all over <laughs> like I just did. Make the pocket on the back like this. Yep, here we go. And now we have this. So this is the front. Yeah, okay. Put this away for just a second. And first make this one. What we did on this, oh, oh, this was a really simple one. Nothing on the front. Nothing on the front. Just a simple, oh my gosh. Turn this over, dear, 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 dear. <laughs> we did make an extra flip. Yes, we did. Okay. And on the back, it's just a pocket. All right, so what we are going to do. 
really easy. We are grabbing a piece of cardstock and make that exactly the same size as this one. And well, just one millimeter shorter. That's better, I think. Now, for this page, I don't have any measurements because I always mess up with when I am getting um, all the measurements. That for my for my uh, view, it's totally sh Chinese, <laughs> Japanese, and I just can't read it. So, what I just did is make a hinge. That's the first step. Then we are going to apply this but before we do that i'm going to see where i want this to apply then make this flat and now you can see oh i hope you can see it now you can see the other flap now you can see it better what i mean and we want not going overlapping because otherwise the closure won't fit so I'm going to stay away two millimeters away from this edge. Yeah, and now we are going to make another hinge. And fold it. Okay. Now, of course, this is too large. So now what I do is, I'm going to make this uh, a bit shorter, so it will fit in here. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So, what I do is, well, I can measure this. This is, for me, a big 11. So this is definitely going to need smaller than an 11. So I think, well, 10 and a half. I think 10 and a half will do. So I'm going to make it a half centimeter shorter than the page. My hope. That is short enough. But let's check it out. When we fold this back in, yes we have. So a half centimeter of a half, half of an half inch is, is enough. Alright. And then we can use this as a pocket. And we did in the tryout. Alright, so now it's time to put some tape on. using my stamping tool from Crea Motion, really easy, but a clear block will also uh, be usable to cut off your tape, really like that. And then we can apply this, and I'm going to use some extra glue, just because it can, and I just love that extra wiggling time uh, let's apply this on top of this page as close as it can to the edge but not over it that's a big no no and go inside and burnish it down and now you can see this fits perfectly and we still can later make uh, a nice thing uh, that makes the closure. So that is exactly the same as on this page. So this is the closure that fits in here later and then we have the two flaps that open and this is the pocket. 
Yeah, really easy. Easy going. Yeah, simple as that. Okay. That's page one. And on the back, of course, we have that pocket. Okay, page one. Done. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's see what we did on the second one. So, I'm grabbing a piece. Oh, and indeed, here I made these on the other side. So, we need to apply the hinge on this side and that's that okay so we have a big pocket on this piece then we turn this over and then we have this piece but that's not all because in here we made a flap to the left and a flap to the right so easy peasy let's do that really easy so, I'm grabbing a piece of um, cardstock and I definitely want to make sure that this is not too big. So, I'm going to cut this at least one millimeter away from the other fold line. So, make sure it's not too wide. Yeah, this is good. Otherwise, this won't be... Oh, and what you can do... Um, well, we will do that later. <laughs> Let's first make this one. I was thinking about that after I showed you that, uh, uh, that, that tryout. So now I'm going to cut on both, both edges. Because I really think that we can use one sheet. Okay, so if the first one going on the edge, I want this. Well, can we make this not equal? Isn't that better? Let's say, let's, let's, let's check. I'm checking, checking, checking. This is 27, so the middle is 13 and a half. 13 and a half, and this is then be... Yeah, why not? Why not make this just equal? Just do it! I'm going to cut this in half. Yay! And then use some score tape. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do anything. You can do anything what you like. Peel it off. Doing some tape. Glue on. Get some tape. We just put some tape on. Tape. And yeah. This is the perfect side. Then apply this nicely to the edge in the middle. Perfect. Then on this side also some tape. There we go. And some extra glue. I just love this glue. And this one we go on this side of course. And don't go too close to the fold line from the hinge. Otherwise it will be very, very, very nasty. Okay. Here we go. So we have one, two, and then this is the closure. Now, what I like is um, if you don't expand this, it, 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 it fits. Let me see. Let me see if I 
yeah with one I did you see with one page I expanded a little and I want to show you this one I expand and it made it nicely flat if I and this is nice flat don't get in the way but on this side I did not expand it and it, it stays open because of the pages inside so this will not close as nicely as the other page so that is definitely what I want to know what, to, what I'm going to do now before I forgot <laughs> I want to expand this and that's really really easy you can use your uh, bone your bone folder you can use your scoreboard and I'm going to use this as a guideline a black line and then just score one more and do that exactly the same on this piece so I'm going to use my black score line as my guideline and stage right Mr. So we're going to expand this a little. Now the fold part is a little tricky for this small piece. I know, I know, it's it's tricky, but once it folds, it will be easier. Here we go. And now we can gently using bone folder and ta-da we have it make it expandable cool yeah okay that's gentle fold this one too I know it's tricky and I hate it too but we can do it we can do it together that's the whole meaning of this tutorial let's do it all together it's way way I call it come feel come okay new word new word to search for me comfortable did I amount announce it pretty well I like to be in my comfort zone and if you guys are following me I feel that <laughs> Alright, so yeah, like, like, like this. This is perfect. Cool. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Now I did not think that I cut these pieces, I believe. No, why I did not, I don't know. What I want now, I want a nice corner. I hope I can still do that. Yep. Like that. Yes, I like, I like, I like, I like. Did I say I like it? I like it. Okay, so this is page two. Cool. And normally I will do the design paper already, but no, I first want to do with you all the pages. Yay! Up to the next one. Let's see what's the next one. The next one is this one. So that is a simple pocket, but with an extra flap. Yeah. Okay, pocket with flap, and then on this side we have that. Actually, it's 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 the same thing as the first one, but oh no, 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 no! It's just a simple. It's not a flippable page. It's just one page. Okay, why not double? Hmm, I don't know why it's not double, but we can make it double. No, we don't. Otherwise, we don't have enough paper, I think, and on the end. But it can be done. It 
can be. Hmm. No, we just make it this exactly the same as this one. <laughs> okay, so we need a um, an extra page on top of here and a belly band. Yep, simple. Simple. It's simple. Okay, so let's go up this piece and yeah, we did this on the back. With the belly band, yeah. Okay, so let's grab a extra piece, cut it a little shorter, a little, not much, a little shorter. And then make a fold line. What cheeky day! And then we are going to see where it goes. So stay one or two millimeters away from our hinge. Because we won't get in the fear on another one on each other. And let's make this again. Two millimeters shorter than the first piece. Yeah, let's do that. So this is the page we want to get in. Yep, we do. So let's glue it in. Grab some tape. Some extra glue on. Not on my table. But anyway, let's stick it. And now for the belly band, well that's really easy of course, um, let's see which, 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 which one, hmm, well, I like, I like this one, let's use this one. So what I need is a long piece, let's say, well oh, this is not long enough, do I have? I don't have, mm -hmm. then I have to cut it. Okay, then I have to cut it. Let's say, I don't know how wide. Let's make for sure. I'm just going to start with making a line because I really don't know how short this is going to cut. So I'm going to go for safe. So I'm going to make this complete. And you can use any die or punch you like, of course. Or if you don't have a punch, that's no big deal. Because the page is busy enough. Even if you don't use any nice border all the way around. It still will look very nice. Okay, that's the first cut. Now what I really like to do is I did use some pockets on the front for these nice tags, to fit these nice tags in. 
and that is what I really like to do on top of it. That is just an extra nice thing to do. So what I'm first going to do is cut out, oops, cut out um, one little piece of this so I know the size of it. So let's say I'm going to cut it. That's what I love. Okay, I'm almost there. Okay, last cut. two of these and I want these on a black edge so I'm going to do that first too so then I have a nice size for a belly band and I hope <laughs> I didn't make it too wide for a belly band but let's see how this turns out Grabbing another leftover and making some hinges. So I want to be making a pocket that's the perfect size for this one. See how wide this is. This is for me it's two five over eight. So this one I'm going to make exactly the same. Oh don't need a pencil, two five over eight. This is really tight. This is too tight, girl. Why did you make it too tight? Oh, this one fits. Hmm. That's strange. And this one isn't. Oh. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Very strange. But okay. We can do it. <laughs> so, uh, blah, blah, blah. now what I want is to cut this. And how much do we need then? I think I can measure that. We can. Uh, I need two. Definitely need two. So if I put this along the other piece and make a mark at two, then this will fit. 
fingers crossed. <laughs> It will fit. It will fit. Of course it fits. Of course. Check, check, check. Hey! Of course it fits! <laughs> okay. Let's make this ready and then we can make it for the perfect size and of course this is way too long but just play for safe have this strip um, let's use this for later later alligator so this is the flap where I want my belly band on and it's going to be a big belly band and I like that so let's see let's make a little flop okay that's one and now with the other piece I definitely go to do this on my way because if I'm going to measure this and I'm going to score this that then it's never going to be fitting so yeah I really don't know why that is but I like it like this so I'm going to apply this as I'm going to um, uh, I call it glue it up glue this down <laughs> and then oh well, why I'm not I'm too can. I can glue in this down, so why not? Then it won't get in the way. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's say... Let's say that this is in the middle and I'm going to apply this on the back. go so now this is not going anywhere just laying this flat I'm using my bone folder to just a little work with the paper and then just fold it around and then it's flat it is don't know why that always bugging me but for me this is the only way that work <laughs> okay here we go yay our belly band so cool really cool 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 somebody said you don't have to mention that enough well that's just me and I am going to mention that as much as I want. <laughs> All right, so now for these pockets. Um, I don't know, do we... Well, if we want a complete design paper, then it's a waste of paper. So I think that if we glue the paper the pockets already down then it saves paper let's see how I manage this one all the way down yeah I did this too okay so one is all the way down so let's do 
do that. this in and then we need this not all the way up but I think this is a nice way so we have two and a half and yep yeah. easy that went. Perfect. Really, really, really nice. A belly band and then on the back we can still make that with the paper for making a pocket. Okay, that's it guys. Page 3. Yeah, done.